welcome to the new tutorial from video adapt now today we are going to install ANSYS for free it is for students for the study or project purpose uh, you have to download almost 4 GB of file from here so I have created page for it and a download link I will provide a link in the description also click on it so it will open up a new window here open a new window and you can freely download the student version from here uh, you have to click agree As you can scroll down and you have given current release 17.0 and prior release 16.2 so and the license file for six months is here so let's download click download here the a new pop-up window will appear here because ANSYS is providing a Java download manager to download the file. Since it is more than 4 GB, you can pause and run the file here. You may mean shutting down the computer doesn't cancel the download. You can easily download it and resume from where you lastly saved so I have already downloaded the file here and uh, since I can show you how it's done I am changing the file name from here and save so it is initializing the download you can see the details from here initializing is 4.06 GB okay it started out with so you can easily pause from here let's see it works pause and resume okay pause and you can close this window and close it uh, it will resume the download click on again the download button it will again say pop up the same window with a download in background so okay it's downloading okay now it's closing it i have already downloaded it so don't want to really download it you know okay close you know what's next so the download file will be in zip format you can either use winrar or winzip to unzip the file you downloaded after that you have to run the setup file from the extracted folder this is my downloaded folder here and the setup file double click on it Okay, this is the setup window. You can click on install ANSYS products from here. Click on it. Okay, now click on I agree. Next. Next, this is the file server details. So you have to put the skip button here and press next. Mm. Sorry, this is a very important step. Unless you click check here, you will not be able to run student version for free. So I'll click next. Next. And click next okay uh, it is started installing the software yeah, it will almost take 30 minutes according to your computer speed now i am skipping it um, okay the installation is completed 100 percentage so you are ready to run the license so let's 
click on next if you don't want to do the survey then check it and exit and exit the installation window don't want to install any other products from this window now we have to create a license file for the ANSYS we have already downloaded it from the same download page as you see early receipts and student uh, extract it and copy the file and paste it into the license folder so pro uh, see program files and this incorporation shared files licensing and paste it here click on continue since okay now we have to create a ANSYS license environment file in the system so to do this click on control panel open control panel and system and security system and advanced system settings from the you click on environment variables you have to create a system variable from here so click on new and variable name you can open the page here and copy the file name and paste it in variable name so variable value has to be yes so currently i install the licensing here so copy the license file and paste it <coughs> since the student license file name will be different from yours you have to change it, the license file name to this one so copy the license file name from here copy and change it with change it here paste ok press ok the license file has been configured and click ok yeah, ok everything is done the license environment and license file has been configured correctly so to run ANSYS software you can it is better rebooting your system so let's reboot it and come back again so restart okay after restarting scroll down to programs and ANSYS files uh, mechanical so if the license file is configured correctly the ANSYS will run without any problem so I think it's configured correctly and uh, searching for other mm, yes it's running This is the new ANSYS 17.0, the latest version. Uh, I will provide more tutorials on how to create and analyze a design and import design from ProE or Creo Parametric or CATIA V5 in the upcoming video tutorials so subscribe to my channel